Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome build. Um, last time we left off, we were painting the trim piece in between the armrest sections, and we do need to do some touch up. But I did decide I'm going to go ahead and do this piece of trim and mimic the switches over here to uh, make it look more realistic. So, without further ado, what we are going to do, hopefully, is yeah, that piece actually peeled off pretty good. We take this piece right here. And put it on the top of the armrest area over here. It shows it's about a quarter of the armrest. Maybe a little more. I'm going to go ahead and stick this down here. And I do believe that should work. Get that burnished in really good. So, well, oh, broke my tooth back, but hey, it laid down. Be careful so I don't break it. It's been a while since I've done anything on this car. I need to get this thing. Get this project rolling again. Just lay that groove in there. Know where we painted. There we go. Let's make sure it's all the way around. I kind of like that. <clears throat> now we'll take our X-Acto knife and take this part off because we don't want that up there. Sure, with my toothpick, that this is really laid down good. Okay. Just cut it that seam again right here. Let's go right there. And right along where we painted. Okay, let's lift that up out of the way. Let's see if we did did good here. Yeah, that's, that's going to work. We'll go with that. Looks like we pulled up there. So we burnish that back down, hopefully.
There it is. Get that there out of the way. And there. Get that burnish back down a little bit better. We have the little chrome part above the, I believe it's an ashtray and lighter is what it is in the real car. But we'll call that good there. And we need a piece for the other side. Kind of been battling back and forth too on how I wanted this this stand up being. I was like, yeah, you're not really gonna see the interior a whole lot unless you really look inside there. Like I mentioned before, this is kind of one of those cars that I'd really like to have in real life. And uh can't ever afford one unless I hit the lottery maybe. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna hold my breath for that to happen because I don't I don't play the lottery <laughs> only when it gets really big jackpot so we need to go to this side and we are going to use this right here this is our corner so we want to kind of go the same route we did last time. I have trouble seeing sometimes. So let's try to lay this one down and Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Oh. Getting crazy with it. Let's get our deal down here. Start burnishing that into place, maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll stick. I don't know, I think my hands are too oily, or lotion, I should say. Winter's hard on my hands, so I gotta I'm not particularly happy with my line there. I can live with that much, much better. Got some fuzzies for my cotton deal. So we'll push that down. Let's get that burnished in. fingernail this time to press it in the spot. Alright, now let's 
take it and Really follow it this way. Yeah, I'm glad I made that decision. And then slice it. It really is not sticking well. The toothpick out to burnish a bit. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. I should not have put lotion on my hands before starting a model. They were so dry though, I just... <clears throat> we had a winter storm here and to do some snow removal. My hands got pretty dry. Beat up. Look at that, it's doing the work for me. So like that. See if that, that's our deal here, maybe. There it is. There we go. We got our little armrest areas or ashtrays or whatever they are finished. So I do want to finish these so we can get the gloss coat on that and the seats today and the dash pad. So we might run a little bit long. But I need to make a couple horrible. I do not like that one. Anyways. There we go. That's a wee bit better. Let's put it down the middle. Fairly close something we can live with anyway. All right. Hopefully, if all goes well. I have to cut that a little more. There we go. You gotta learn to use the tip of the knife and not the edge there. stuff. Little fiddly parts. Maybe we'll straighten you out. Folded you under, didn't I? Oh, we messed that one up. So, do to make our model the way we want them to look. I'm going to 
take the sticky off of it again. Oh, I folded it under again. Wow. I don't know. We might have to freehand paint that. The way things are going. So we'll call that a video for now. And we'll uh, see you guys next time.